Now, is this okay uh, in math? Can we leave an expression like this, a fraction, where we have a square root uh, in the denominator? Well, the answer is no. Okay. Now, if you knew that, that's perfect. And but uh, here's the thing: Can you fix this right now? But before I even ask you to fix it, why is this a problem? Because what we're doing here is we're trying to to, uh, to divide a number by an irrational number. The square root of three, okay, is a what we call an irrational number. Now this number is a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. In other words, this thing goes out forever. I don't have my calculator in front of me, but I believe it's like 1.7 or whatever uh, decimals follow. But these decimals don't repeat and they don't stop. In other words, to figure out what the square root of 3 is as a decimal, I would have to go all the way out to infinity, which is a pretty long time. We certainly don't have enough time in this uh, you know, video to write out you know, all the infinite amount of uh, digits that represent the square root of 3. So we're trying to divide a number by a, another number that doesn't stop and we don't really know the full value. So that really doesn't make sense in math. It's kind of like, let's suppose we have a pizza, and we're like, hey, let's divide our pizza uh, by the square root of three ways. Now, well, you know, how much exactly should we divide the pizza by? Well, we don't really have the exact amount. Now, in mathematics, the square root of three is, in fact, a, uh, an exact value. But in practical terms, to divide our pizza by the square root of three ways, we would have to give some sort of you know decimal approximation, kind of a feel for that number. But we really can't. All we could do is um, uh, basically estimate estimate a value, which of course isn't going to be the exact value. So this doesn't make sense. We never wanted to divide our, uh, a number by an irrational number. Okay, so just remember that in math. So you might be saying, all right, well, how do we fix this? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how we fix this situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our problem 1 over the square root of 3, and we're going to multiply it by 1. Okay, now you might be saying, well, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this doesn't look like 1. Well, this indeed is 1. Now, let me ask you, any number multiplied by itself is what? Well, it's 1, right? So any number a times 1 is a. This is what we call the multiplicative identity, okay? But here we have the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3. This is just a fancy looking 1 because anything divided by itself is 1. So 1 over the square root of 3 times 1 is simply just 1 over the square root of 3. So we're not kind of breaking or changing this uh, fraction here, but we're kind of using a trick so we can get rid of the square root in the denominator. And that's the objective. We want to get it out of the, uh, of the denominator. And we don't care if it's in the numerator. The problem is in the denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply 1 over the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. And, of course, when you multiply fractions, we're going to multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 1 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 3. And then the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. Remember, when you're multiplying... Uh, two square roots like this, square root of 3 times the square root of 3. This is equal to one big square root, 3 times 3. Of course, that'll be the equal to the square root of 9. All right, so just basic uh, algebra and basic knowledge when you're dealing with square roots and radicals. And a square root of 9, of course, is 3. So now this expression right here, 1 over the square root of 3 is equivalent to this, the square root of 3 over 3. Okay, and this is okay, perfectly fine, because we do not have an irrational number in the denominator. Okay, so what we just did here is called rationalizing the denominator, and you certainly need to understand this in algebra and in mathematics. Are you struggling in math because of confusing lessons? Maybe the teacher's not showing you all the steps you need, or things are happening too fast. Well, there is a better way. So come on over to my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. There you'll find clear step-by-step -step instruction by me that will definitely make a huge difference in your math success. So make sure to check out all my courses by following the links in the description.